good afternoon dear students i shall continue my discussion on the next topic of vector space that is uh, on the uh, pro proof of uh, basis and dimension of vectors uh, suppose we consider vectors that is u1 u2 u3 and so on up to un in the uh, set of vectors that is indicated by u then how the uh, definition of basis and what is the concept of basis for these vectors and the dimension for these vectors we shall uh, try to understand uh, through some examples after giving the definition of basis and after giving the uh, definition of uh, dimension. Okay. First of all, let us <coughs> write what is the definition of uh, basis of the given set of vectors. The title is basis and dimension. of vectors. Here also we consider the linear combination of the given set of vectors and we will see that uh, the value of uh, uh, given coordinates uh, in the form of a vector, what are the numbers that means each vector is going to define with some elements and those elements uh, we will put in the form of some matrix and then we will find out the determinant if that uh, determinant is equal to 0 and determinant is not equal to 0 through this conclusion through this value of the determinant which we are going to apply for the matrix and then we can uh, consider it has the basis or it will form the basis or it will not form the basis and then what is the dimension means based on the given number of values for each vector we will decide its corresponding dimension. That means once again we will define same symbol as B as the vector space w as the subspace of vector, vector space and linear combination followed by the scalars. <coughs> this is most fundamental uh, requirement in order to define the linear combination of some vectors. Okay. First of all, let me write the definition of this basis. Suppose S is equal to we consider set of vectors u1, u2, u3 and so on that is un as a set of as a set of vectors from the vector space. What is the symbol vector for the vector space that is capital V from the vector space uh, sorry that is u capital U and V is the vector space, then S is called S is called a basis, S is called a basis. This is basis means it is in the singular sense, but in the plural sense it is basis, basis in plural sense. basis for the vector space that is u if the following conditions are satisfied. Conditions are hold good or satisfied any word you can use. <coughs> the first condition in order to say that these vectors will form the basis the first condition span u uh, span of s is equal to u then that is s spans the vector s spans the vector space u s spans the vector space u means u is a vector space and <coughs> S is a sector, set of vectors and span means that span is operating on S where set of vectors that is in the vector space. Okay. So, now the second condition S is linearly uh, independent, S is linearly independent set of vectors. S is linearly independent set of vectors means this u1, u2, u3 up to un are 
linearly independent. Already we know that in the previous discussion that is linearly independent and linearly dependent. The same principle here also we adopt in order to say that these group of vectors will form the basis and the dimension we are going to calculate. <coughs> so, with this what is the first condition takes the meaning and what is the second condition takes the meaning in order to say that these group of vectors will form the basis. Then uh, through this example we can consider that means I have to consider the numerical values for u1, numerical values for u2 and so on in terms of the brackets that is independent vector. Therefore, the example is like this determine determine if each of each of the sets of vectors each of the sets of vectors will be will be basis for R cube basis for R cube. Here <coughs> determine if each set of uh, each sets of uh, each each of the sets of vectors will be basis for R cube. R cube means it is a region which contains three values. If R square only two values, that means you can expect for two values two vectors, three values three vectors, and four values four vectors like that. So based on that you can write a linear combination of the equation and then each equation will be equated to 0 and then you will compare uh, the equation uh, with the corresponding coefficients in the left side then you will be able to calculate C1, C2, C3 and so on. So, as, as usual we will say that what is the condition for linearly independent and linearly dependent. Okay. Then what are the uh, questions attached to this uh, statement? statement of the problem is this determine if each of the sets of vectors will be basis for R cube. Okay. There are sub questions attached to this main statement. The first question there are four uh, uh, different numericals are there. First one u1 is equal to 1 minus 1 comma 1 is there and u2 is equal to 0 it is 1 and 2 and uh, u3 here also three values are there 3, 0, minus 1 and b this is u1 is equal to 1, 0, 0 and u2 is equal to 0, 1, 0 and u3 is equal to 0, comma 0 and 1. And the third question is attached to the same statement of the question u1 is equal to 1, 1, 0 and u2 is equal to that is minus 1, 0 and 0. Here only two vectors with three numbers are given. Then that is C and this is D. Fourth question that is u1 is equal to 1, minus 1 and plus 1. <coughs> then u2 is equal to minus 1, comma 2, comma minus 2 and u3 is equal to minus 1 comma 4 comma minus 4. Let us answer all the four questions with reference to this set of vectors will be basis for R cube. Let us answer one by one. <coughs> there are two conditions where uh, group of vectors will form the basis. Uh, both the conditions of this definition of the basis are to be satisfied. The first condition uh, according to the definition we have to verify on the three sets of vectors that is u1, u2, u3 corresponding three elements are there therefore this is the region that is going to match with R cube. Okay. The first uh, answer, uh, answer to the first question we will, we will consider as a linear combination <coughs> let u1 that is c1 plus c2 u2 plus c3 u3 is equal to right side there are three vectors u1 u2 and u3 these are the three vectors. So, let us write according to that uh, vectors then c1 is a scalar and u1 is the first three elements 1 minus 1 
that is plus 1 plus of C2 because this is the first scalar and this is the second scalar. Second vector multiplied by 0, 1, 2 plus C3 uh, the third uh, uh, scalar with the third vector that is 3, 0 and then minus 1. This is operating on uh, and comparing on that is U1, it is U2 and u3. Now, you have to form three equations by this. Actually, what happens here? Uh, there are three vectors and uh, uh, you have to uh, solve three equations for three values. Solve three uh, equations for three values means uh, it is completely based on the determinant value. So, determinant value will be uh, based uh, will be depending on the three types of equations you are going to sort out. Okay. So, what is the first equation? First equation means C1 into 1 plus C2 into 0 plus C3 into 3 that should be equated to U1 that is the first equation. Second equation, second element from this, second element from this and second element from this should be equated to this followed by uh, the respective scalars. Okay. Similarly, third one that is uh, C1, <coughs> 1 into C1 here and uh, 0 plus 0 into C2 that means first value I am taking from the first bracket and first value from the second bracket the, that is 0 into C2 and 3 into C3 this is equal to U1 this is first uh, equation according to the linear combination. Now second one minus 1 into C1 and uh, 1 into plus 1 into C2 and plus 0 into it is C3 this is the third element, this is equal to u2 and 1 into c1 plus 2 into c2, this is 2 into c2 and minus this is 1 into c3, this is equal to u3. Now, all the three vectors will be compared with uh, each term, there are three terms and uh, three terms means they will form three equations, those three equations are like this. Okay. If you want to put these three equations uh, because uh, uh, after uh, taking the multiplication this implies, this implies, this implies. First one is C1 and uh, C2 will not be there that is plus 0 into C2 okay, plus 3 C2 uh, sorry C3 is equal to U1. Then this is minus C1 and plus C2 and plus 0 into C3 is equal to U2 and last one C1 plus 2 times it is C2 minus of C3 that is equal to U3. <coughs> now, we have there are three equations with uh, three unknowns. What are those three unknowns? C1, C2, C3. So, let us construct uh, that one in the form of some matrix that should be in the form of coefficients of the matrix that is 1 minus 1 this is plus 1. Next is 0, 1 and 2, 0, 1 and 2 and next is 3, this is 0 and minus 1. This should be multiplied by column matrix that is uh, C1, column matrix that is C1, it is C2 and C3. This is equal to should be U1 it is u2 and u3 so now what you have to do is you you you, you have to find out uh, the determinant of the coefficient matrix so this is exactly like this is coefficient matrix this is the matrix with the unknowns and this is the ma column matrix with the right side constants as you did in ax is equal to b in the matrix theory now you have to calculate uh, the determinant of this coefficient matrix that determinant will be taken as that is let the determinant determinant of the coefficient matrix coefficient matrix b such that this much and you have to write 1 minus 1 1, <coughs> 0, 1, 2, 3, 
0 minus 1. When you apply the determinant for this, you have to simplify. With the usual procedure, you simplify the determinant and what value you are getting? If determinant is equal to 0, then it will not form the basis and if determinant is equal is not equal to 0, then it will form the basis because norm, uh, the basic meaning in the matrix theory is if the determinant is 0, then it is called singular matrix. If the determinant is not 0, it is called non-singular matrix. That meaning is uh, we are going to uh, utilize in uh, solving the equations, but that may uh, hear the meaning that we are going to apply for the behavior of determinant 0 or not 0. Here we will check that. Okay. So, how to simplify this uh, uh, determinant? So, we will start with the first number. Start with the first number means what? That is first number is 1. So, 1 into 1 into minus 1. Okay. That is 1 into minus 1 minus of this is 0 into this one that is 0 and plus this is minus this is plus alternately plus minus you have to choose then minus 0 <coughs> the entire thing whatever you write that becomes 0 0 means that you have to avoid middle column and first row that is minus 1 and minus 1 plus 1 and minus of 0 and then plus of that is 3 into <coughs> minus 2 this is minus 1 this is equal to what value we are going to select. This is nothing but delta we call otherwise determinant of A that is delta. So, 1 into minus 1 delta is equal to 1 into minus 1 minus 0 this becomes minus 1 and this becomes 0 and this becomes and plus of minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 minus 3 into plus 3 means it is minus 9, minus 9 means therefore, delta is equal to minus 1 and minus 9, this is equal to minus 10, this is the value of determinant, otherwise equal to determinant of matrix A. What is that matrix? It is called coefficient matrix. It is called the coefficient matrix means determinant of A is equal to delta, that is delta is not equal to 0. When delta is not equal to 0, that means here we claim that it will uh, form the basis where determinant is not equal to 0. So, that is the conclusion we take uh, for the first calculation when determinant is not equal to 0. Okay. So, uh, the first uh, case uh, where we consider uh, the determinant of this and also we will calculate uh, the uh, value of uh, values of C1 and C2, C3 by solving this equations when determinant is not equal to 0. That is another part of it. Thereby, vectors, uh, but the conclusion for uh, whether they will form the basis or not, uh, it is uh, clearly verified delta is not equal to 0. So, the answer for the first question, uh, determine each set of uh, vectors will form the basis 100% these first, uh, first question given vectors will form the basis. This implies implies the set of vectors, the set of vectors that is u1, u2 and u3 form the basis. This is the answer for the first question. Now, what is the answer for the second question that we will check? Now, answer for the question number B. Here, there are uh, three vectors u1, u2 and u3 here also. Okay. So, the second question u1 is equal to 1, 0, 0 and u2 is equal to 0, 1, 0 and u3, 0, 0, 1. u3 is equal to 0, 0, 1. Then, then we define we define the linear 
combination equation linear combination equation what is that linear combination equation that is uh, c1 u1 plus c2 u2 plus c3 u3 is equal to three vectors given that means set of vectors u1 u2 and u3 <coughs> here uh, three vectors and three scalars here also the set of three vectors it is given okay so now we will form the vectors on vectors as it is on the right side that is c1 into that is 1 0 0 1 0 0 <coughs> plus u2 sorry c2 into 0 1 0 plus c3 into 0 0 1 and this is equal to this is equal to u1 u2 and u3 then we will calculate uh, here uh, linearly independent or uh, uh, linearly dependent okay that is 1 into c1 this is c1 plus 0 into c2 plus 0 into c3 then second element that is 0 into c1 plus 1 into c2 plus 0 into c3 this is equal to u1 this is equal to u2 and 0 into c1 plus 0 into c2 plus 1 into it is c 1 into c3 this is equal to u3 so there are three equations here from these three equations we calculate uh, the values of c1 c2 c3 and all that okay and here also we will check uh, whether they form the basis or not and also we will check what are the values of c1 c2 and c3 so this indicates the matrix form that is in the matrix form we will calculate uh, uh, taking that 1 0 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 it is 1 now what is this actually uh, c1 c2 and c3 then this is equal to u1 it is u2 and u3 right then this is the coefficient matrix if you take this as uh, for uh, determinant calculation let us find uh, delta of uh, sorry determinant of a is equal to delta that is determinant application 1 0 0 0 1 it is 0 0 0 1 then what is the determinant here that is 1 into 1 min, uh, 1 into 1 minus that is 1 and 0 minus 0 and minus of 0 and plus of 0 this also 0 this also 0 but 1 into this much this is equal to 1 so 1 minus 0 is 1 and multiplied by 1 this is delta therefore delta is equal to 1 is not equal to uh, 0 right here also here also they form the basis that means the set of vectors the set of vectors vectors form the basis set of vectors will form the basis that means form the basis means uh, delta is not equal to uh, 0 that means delta we are getting it as 1 where it is not equal to 0 then it will form the basis and here we will check the condition that they are linearly independent or linearly dependent we will verify that ok. To check that to verify to verify that linearly independent linearly independent. So, we will solve these three equations by equating u 1 equal to 0 let u 1 equal to 0 u 2 equal to 0 and u 3 equal to 0 therefore, c 1 uh, plus uh, c 1 is equal to c 1 plus 0 plus 0 equal to 0 0 plus 
c2 plus 0 equal to 0, 0 plus uh, 0 plus c3 this is equal to 0. Obviously, all the three equations this is c1 equal to 0 comma c2 equal to 0 and c3 equal to 0. What is your conclusion then? When all the three values will uh, give the solution as 0, 0, 0 all the three then we can consider that these uh, given group of sets of uh, vectors are linearly independent. Anyway, uh, they are giving as delta that means our determinant of A that is equal to 1 which is not equal to 0, they form the basis and as well as they are said to be linearly independent. When they are said to be linearly independent and they form the basis, then the second condition is also satisfied. Now, the third problem that means here uh, only two uh, vectors are given, then we will check that. So, this is the third uh, group of vectors it is given. So, we will write linear combination for those two vectors and we will check that whether these will form the basis and also they are said to be linearly independent or dependent. Okay. So, third question C the answer let u1 is equal to 1 1 0 and u2 is equal to minus 1 comma 0 and 0 that is u1 is equal to 1 1 0 and u2 is equal to this much. So, let the linear equation linear combination linear combination equation be given by be given by <coughs> c1 u1 plus c2 u2 plus c3 u3 is equal to that is u1 u2 and u3. Therefore, c1 multiplied by these three 1 1 0 plus c2 multiplied by these three numbers that is minus 1 0 0 plus of that is c3 into 0 because third one is not given <coughs> I'm sorry u1 u2 and u3. Then I can consider this one as c1 minus of c2 that is equal to 0 at u1 equal to 0. Next one c1 and this is uh, c2 means plus 0 into c2 is equal to 0 at u2 equal to 0. Next 0 into c1 plus of <coughs> c2 into 0 this is equal to 0 because c3 anyway it is not at u3 is equal to <coughs> u3 is equal to 0. Then we will consider here all the 3 that means c1 minus c2 is equal to 0 where c1 plus of 0 into c2. So, what is your conclusion? This you can ignore because third vector is not given that is u3 is not given. So, when u3 is not given means easily you can eliminate this equation and you can consider only these two equations for your discussion. right? So, from these two equations we can get c1 from the second equation that is equal to 0 when you substitute c1 is equal to 0, c2 is also leading to 0. When c1 is equal to 0 and c2 is equal to 0, then it indicates uh, nothing but it is a trivial solution, trivial solution. What is the conclusion that for the trivial solution? When trivial solution is there that easily you can decide that it, it, is, uh, it is giving the proof of linearly independent case. Therefore, these three sets of vectors that means given set of given set of vectors vectors are linearly independent because we have the condition that trivial solution condition is satisfied linearly independent. Now, the last question that is u1, u2 and u3. 
here three vectors are there. So, group of three vectors are there, then we have to form this group of three vectors for the purpose that linear combination equation should be equated to u1, u2 and u3. So, let us check how these last uh, group of uh, vectors will behave for the trivial solution and as well as linear, linearly independent and linearly dependent requirement. Okay. So, we are given uh, in the last question that is u1, this is question number d, we have to answer that is u1 is equal to 1 minus 1 and plus 1 and next vector that is u2 that is minus 1 and then 2 and then it is minus 2 and u3, u3 is equal to minus 1, 4 and then minus 4. Then define let the linear combination, linear combination of the given set of vectors. given set of vectors B that is C1 U1 plus C2 U2 plus C3 U3 is equal to 3 vectors U1, U2 and U3. When you consider these 3 vectors in a linear combination followed by 3 scalars that is C1, C2 and C3 followed by these 3 vectors substitute their values C1 which contains 1 minus 1, 1 okay, and uh, plus of C2, C2 means uh, uh, you have to take uh, the scalar and then corresponding multiplication minus 1, 2, minus 2 plus C3, you have to take these 3 minus 1, 4 and minus 4. This is for uh, uh, third scalar multiplied by third vector, this is equal to U1, it is U2 and u3. Now, you can verify there are two conditions one is for linearly independent and another one is for whether uh, these three vectors will form the basis. If they form the basis and further you can check that whether they are said to be linearly independent or linearly dependent. Okay. So, we will uh, check both the conditions whether uh, it gives the trivial solution or non-trivial solution we will verify that. So, in the matrix form that you have to collect all the 3 uh, as linear equations 1 into C1 that is C1 minus C2 minus 1 is multiplied and minus 1 is multiplied that is minus C3 this is equal to first uh, vector that is U1. Now, second value of C1 that is minus C1, second value of C2 that is plus of 2 times C2, second value of C3 that is plus of 4 times C3 that is second vector that is u2. Third value of c1 with plus 1, third value of c2 with minus 2 times it is c2, third value of c3 that is uh, uh, minus of 4, minus of 4 that should be c3 and this is equal to u3. Now, these are your three important equations. So, with these three equations, you have to construct a matrix form equation. So, that matrix form will be that is 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 2 and minus 2 right and minus 1 it is 4 and minus 4 is there. Then you will multiply the corresponding column vector as C1, C2 and uh, C3. So, this should be equated to U1 and u2 and u3. Now, this is in the matrix form. After writing that in the matrix form, two conditions are to be checked. One is linearly independent and the another one is whether they form the basis or uh, uh, not forming the basis. Okay. So, this is just like A, capital A that means coefficient matrix and uh, we will find out determinant of A. This determinant of A means we have to apply determinant for this coefficient matrix 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 2 minus 2 minus 1 4 and then minus 4 and this is equal to what value. So, we will uh, check that it is a simplification 
that is 1 into this is 2 into minus 4 minus 8 and this should be plus sign 8 right and uh, this is minus minus plus that becomes and minus 1 into minus 4 that is plus 4 and minus 4 and uh, this is 1 into and minus of 1 into this should be uh, 2 and minus 2 right. So, this is determinant of A. I think this is uh, becoming 0, 8, 8 cancels, 4, 4 cancels, 2, 2 cancels. Therefore, determinant of A is equal to 0 in this case. This is a special case that is delta is equal to determinant of A that is equal to 0 implies when determinant is equal to 0, these 3 vectors, 3 vectors, 3 vectors u1, comma u2 and u3 do not form, do not form the basis, do not form the basis because determinant is not equal to 0, but here coincidentally determinant is equal to 0 we are getting they do not form the basis, but for linearly independent we will check for linearly independent, linearly independent case we will check. So, how to check that you have to solve these 3 equations at u1 equal to u2 equal to u3 is equal to 0 thereby c1 minus c2 minus of c3 this is equal to 0 minus c1 plus 2 c2 plus 4 c3 this is equal to 0 then c1 uh, minus 2 c2 minus 4 c3 this is equal to 0 then these 3 will give us the answers we have solved already this one that is minus 1 and 4 that is 2 and 4 uh, minus 1 4 and anyway this is plus 2 1 minus 1 and then minus 1 okay and uh, this will form the values as determinant value as 0 then these 3 equations are to be solved okay. So, these 3 equations are to be solved means you can use matrix uh, equation that means in the homogeneous form then the same coefficient matrix you can take it 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 2 minus 2 minus 1 4 and then minus of 4. This is for uh, C1, C2, C3 okay this is equal to 0. So, let us verify. Uh, the uh, row operations for this. Therefore, this is the pivotal element. We will check these two elements as uh, we have to convert these two elements as 0. Let us uh, do the uh, elementary row operation method and how this elementary row operation method will give us the calculations of C1, C2, C3. So, uh, this is a 1, this is minus 1. Okay. Therefore, R1 plus R2 effecting on R2, then R1 minus R3 effecting on it is R3 that is equivalent to that is equivalent to we will write that first row as it is 1 minus 1 next is minus 1 and next is 0 this is 0 and here R1 plus R2 this is plus 1, R1 plus this one means 3 and this becomes uh, R1 minus R3, R1 minus R3 this becomes plus 1. Then R1 minus means this becomes plus 3, this is C1, C2 and C3 that is equal to 0. That means uh, that is equal to 0 means there are 3 zeros we can call. Now, this element becomes the pivotal element, this is uh, to be taken as 0. So, then what is the row operation? R2 minus R3 effecting on it is R3. Then this is equivalent to 1 minus 1 minus 1 0 1 
3 0 0 r 1 minus r 3 this is 0 right this is 0 means what 0 means it is c 1 c 2 and c 3 that is equal to you can take it as 0 0 0 like this then so the entire row this is nothing but 0 entire row is nothing but 0 means rank of the coefficient matrix is 2 and rank of the augmented matrix is also 2 because this last row is containing all the elements as 0 then you can expect here that is uh, C1 minus C2 minus C3 that is equal to 0 minus C2 plus uh, C3 that is equal to 0 and 0 into C3 that is equal to 0. So, C3 is equal to 0 by 0 this is equal to something like K otherwise T you can represent. So, K will take different values negative, positive and 0 right. Then uh, C3 is equal to K means that is a parameter. Here we claim K may be greater than 0, K may be less than 0 and K may be equal to 0 this is what the condition. Now, with this uh, you have to write the value of C2 by substituting C3 is equal to K. Therefore, uh, C2 is also it is K. Then C3 uh, sorry C1 here this is K and this is K and C1 is equal to that is plus of 2K. So, like this we are getting like this we are getting means to conclude that uh, uh, this 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 uh, given group of vectors are said to be linearly uh, independent then uh, this k should be equal to 0 that means trivial solution you must get if you do not get trivial solution then they are said to be linearly dependent but for linearly independent k should be equal to 0 then our conclusion is implies for k equal to 0 for k equal to 0 u1 u2 and u3 are linearly or linearly independent linearly independent otherwise 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 they are dependent otherwise they are dependent why it is dependent because k will choose different values and obviously uh, those three uh, vectors uh, sorry those three constants sorry uh, scalars c1 c2 c3 will choose or will take different values but these three vectors will form these three vectors will form uh, the basis what is the determinant value here zero these three vectors will not form the basis because determinant is zero but uh, to say that they are linearly independent or dependent only for k they are said to be linearly uh, uh, dependent with this that concept is over and uh, now i will i'll move on to the next uh, concept that is coordinate vectors that i will discuss in the next lecture thank you